Today, I'm going to get started on dressing up my High Point 995 carbine 9mm. And I'm going to be using the same paint that I did with the uh, Mossberg 995. You can, I'm sorry, the Mossberg 500. You can check out the link in the description, it'll take you to it. There's a a video of how I did it and a review as well on how it's been holding up the past two years. So I'm going to be doing this the same way I did before. The paint I'm going to be using is this Rust-Oleum camouflage. It says that it sticks well to plastic, bonds to plastic, so I haven't had any problems with it in the past. I suspect it's going to be okay again. The plan is to either do camo sand or army green. And what I'm looking at doing is keeping part of it black and painting the other portions one of those two colors. I think the uh, forearm here is, is going to get painted and the rear stock is going to get painted. The grip is going to get painted. I'm going to keep the rails black, I believe. The back portion here of the stock is going to stay black. And the front rail as well is going to stay black. So I'm going to take you through the process and see how it uh, turns out in the end. All right, so off camera, I'm going to get this thing disassembled. I'm going to get the parts that I'm going to paint cleaned up and come back when I'm ready. The gun has been disassembled. I've looked through different pictures, tweaked stuff the way I wanted it to as far as colors, and decided on Rust-Oleum Army Green Camouflage. And it says that it is bonds to plastic. So I know it does because of using it on the Mossberg. What is taped up in blue will remain black. What is black will become green. So let's go ahead and get these hung and get some color on them. I'm going to try to put a light coat on, come back after it flashes and hit it again. I have to say, I like the way the green's turning out so far. It is on this black pretty nice. All right, we'll let that flash, then hit it again. Coat two. It's going on nice. Couple more minutes, one more light coat. I'll be good. Third coat. cracks and crevices on the longer stock of challenging to get get all those covered.
here is the semi-finished product at this point. The paint is cured or had a five to seven day adhesion time. That is what was recommended from Rustolian. So I've done that. It's time to go ahead and shoot this, shoot these parts with some clear. I'm pleased with these. Looks pretty good. I suspect durability will be great and even better whenever I get some clear coat on. All right, time for some clear. So here is the clear from Rust-Oleum that I'm going to use for this. Looks good. And please, I'm curious to see how it feels. I'll let this, let this flash. All right. Next time, we'll get a better look. So I've reached the point where the clear is dry and cured, and I'm ready to remove the blue paint. I'm sorry, the blue tape. Here's where I need to be careful. I want to make sure that I don't peel any paint off. So I'm going to be delicate here. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. So I got a, uh, make a decision here. What do I want to do with these little clips, metal clips? I may scratch them, scratch them black or leave them green. But we'll see what the finished product looks like. So I guess it's time to reassemble. All right, I got some parts laid out, ready to assemble. So let's get started on it. Start with the simple first.
Well, minus the scope and the charging handle, there it is. It is done. I'm pleased with it and the way it turned out. I like the color. So that's the finished product. Color looks good. Obviously, we'll see how the paint holds up. It's not going to get beat around a whole lot. But my High Point 995, Army Green, and Black. Thanks for watching.